Anything is possible. It started with a dream. Our passion made a difference and built a family. We've grown strong together. You know it's all. Hello, everybody. Donna Gray here, your stamping up demonstrator from the Northern Rivers area in New South Wales, Australia. I wanted to show you this super, super cute honeybee stamp set and framelits that we have available at the moment in our new mini catalogue. And I also want to incorporate using some of our free celebration items. So during January, February and March, we have a time called celebration with Stamping Up, which means that for every $90 that you spend in Australia through my online store, you get to earn a free item. So you could purchase this honeybee bundle and um, a few items and you could be qualify for the free sending you thought stamp set i'm also using another thing that is a free celebration item it is the designer series paper that goes with this honeybee and i must say this was not on my radar when i first looked at it in the catalog but i can tell you i am absolutely loving this bundle so it has framelits that match and we'll be using some of the framelits today in the card that we're making so I decided that I wanted to stick to a black and white theme today. So I have a piece of Whisper White Thick. Now my Whisper White Thick is cut at four inches this way by 11 and a half inches this way. And I've scored it at five and three quarters and eight and three quarters. I'm going to make a, a typical simple easel card. So to make the easel card, we're going to fold on that five and three quarter inch fold mark. And we're also going to fold on this score line here that we have here. And that is going to create the easel mechanism for our card, okay? Now the idea with your easel cards is make sure you use your bone folder and you score those score lines really, really, really well because that's what makes it sit really nicely as your easel card, okay? So... I've got some basic black cardstock and I've got some of this gorgeous designer series paper. Now I've cut my basic black cardstock layer at three and three quarter inches by five and a half inches. And that's actually going to go onto that front panel there and create that easel part of my card. So first of all, I'm going to take my liquid Tombow. This paper is gorgeous. It's got gold foil accents on one side and black and white on the other. I chose just to use the black and white side for the card today, but the foil accents on this paper are simply stunning. So I'm just going to glue that on with my liquid Tombow. Now, the reason that I use my liquid Tombow is that it gives me wiggle room and I have cut my designer series paper just an eighth of an inch smaller than my black layer. So this was cut at three and three quarters of an inch. So um, this designer series paper is cut at three and five eighths by five and three eighths, okay? And I will pop the measurements down in the information box down below. So then that is actually going to go on there, but I wanna wrap a bit of our beautiful black satin ribbon around that before I apply it onto there. So my golden rule is I use double-sided tape on the back of my layer to glue the ends of my ribbon in place. So just a little bit of double-sided tape on the back And with your take your pick tool, take the backings off. And then just grab your ribbon and wrap that around by popping it into that double sided tape on the back. So just like so, and then wrapping it around and gluing it there. And then I'm just gonna trim that off. Then that layer is going to be ready to place onto my easel card. Now what I find is the best way to do it is to fold it out flat and look at where that is going to sit because when this folds flat to go into the post, we want it to sit really nice and even on the front of our card. So 
what I think I will do is I'm going to place some glue on this section here just to be on the safe side and I'm gonna leave that border so that I'm not putting glue out too far. And then I can just place my layer and that way you know you're not going to get glue on any part of it that you don't want glue on. So I'm going to even that up exactly where I want it to be and place that down onto my glue. Okay, now just let that take hold for a little while until that glue adheres and then you'll find you will have that gorgeous front layer for your card. Okay, so in this beautiful bundle, we have this gorgeous, large, intricate B die. So I'm actually going to use that as a bit of a feature on this card. So I've got two pieces of black, uh, whisper, uh, black, basic black cardstock. Sorry, my words are failing me. I'm just going to bring in the big shot machine and I'm going to cut two of these gorgeous bees out of my scrap black cardstock. So with my big shot machine here, I have my magnetic plate and I also have one cutting pad. I'm just going to stick that bee on there. I think I can actually get two out of that one piece. So I might do that. And I'm just going to run that through the Big Shot machine. Now I'm going to run it through once and then back through the other way because this is an intricate die. So you want to make sure that you get all of the pieces cut properly out of that framework. And you can see that they have cut really, really nicely and it's just popped out. So it's a gorgeous, uh, beautiful framework. So I'll just pop that on again. Now, one of the tricks too is to pop it out towards your your die out towards the outside edge of your plate because the most pressure that we get going through our big shot machine is on that outside of that plate. So I'm just gonna run that second one back through. And we've gone backwards and forwards and that one's cut out nicely as well. I'll just grab that big shot out of the way. Okay, so now I'm just going to pull in those cute bees and with my take your pick tool, I'm just going to pick out all the pieces that need to come out of that intricate die. And they come out really, really easily. When you run it through that second time, it just makes sure that you cut and you ensure that you cut it really, really nicely. So we're just gonna pop all those pieces out of that one and then we're going to grab the second one. So you can see it's a gorgeous die cut. And we'll do this second one, pop out the pieces. They just about fall out on their own when you've run it through that second time. So I'm going to quickly pop out those pieces. Now you could do a little bit of pattern piecing here as well. Um, if you wanted to add a pop of color, in this card I wanna stick just to the black and white, but you could do a little bit of pattern piecing and you could actually cut this out in Daffodil Delight and then you could pattern piece the um, body back in. And you could have like the, the B, the um, yellow and black B. All right, so then I'm gonna bring that back in. Now on this bottom piece, I actually wanna have, so on the, this inside layer, I've got a piece of our basic black and I've also got a piece of our whisper white. So I'm actually going to glue those together and glue that into there. And once again, using my Tombow because it gives me that wiggle room to move that around and get that even border all the way around. And then I'm going to pop some more Tombow on there and line that up on that inside of my card. So you can see that black, sorry, I'm probably out of camera there, that black and white theme is coming back through. And we've got our gorgeous easel part working here. So now what you need to do is you need to create something that the easel is going to be able to sit up on 
to make it stay up there. So that's why I decided I would use one of my B's and I'll pop it up onto um, some dimensionals. So because we actually have that cutout bit, um, I'm going to use some of my mini dimensional, oh, they're behind me here, some of my mini dimensionals, but I'm just going to cut some slivers on the sides here to get some really, really thin pieces of dimensional so that I can pop that on the body of my B. So you can see I'm getting two little thin pieces here and I'm going to turn my B over and just on those thick parts of its body, I'm going to be able to place these on that thick part of the body. Oh, okay. So just like that, right there. And pop the other one on there. Okay, so just on that bottom part there, and I'm gonna have a little tiny bit that I can trim off and that will probably be able to go just on there with any luck. Okay, I'm going to pop that B up there now, just here so that Our easel card will pop down onto that B, okay? And I'm also going to, to help it stay there, I'm going to use a scrap piece of paper. I'm going to stamp my sentiment first of all. So the sentiment that I'm using is out of um, this Sending You Thoughts, which as I said, it's a celebration item. I'm going to use my black memento ink and I'm going to ink up another sensational year of you down here and I'm also going to use this piece of paper to stamp the happy birthday and I'm going to cut that out with one of my punches so I'm just going to stamp that there And in our stamp set, we have these gorgeous flowers. So I'm actually just going to stamp one of the flowers in our black memento ink. And I'll use the matching framelit to be able to cut that out. So I'm actually going to stamp that up on this end of my cardstock so I can use a framelit to cut that out. So we have that gorgeous flower there. So I'm going to use... One of our new um, punches that are in our mini catalog and I'm going to punch out that happy birthday like that and I actually might stamp a second flower there I think I'm gonna cut two flowers out I've got room there to be able to cut a second flower out so I'm gonna cut two flowers out but I might actually sorry this is my thought process here do that one going the other way okay so I'll ink that up with my ink and I'm going to turn it around that way just to fit it onto my piece of cardstock a little bit better and I'll bring in those framelits to cut those two flowers out so I'll bring in the Big Shot Machine once again. And we have some matching framelits that will match those beautiful flowers that we have in our set. Okay. So we have that flower there. And using the magnetic platform is really, really good for cutting out using these framelits when you've pre-stamped an image because the magnets hold our cardstock in place 
so that it doesn't move while we cut it out. So we're just going to line those up, pop on a cutting pad and run those through. So we've got a couple of flowers. And that is all the die cutting that we will be doing today. So I'll pop that out of the way. and bring in our gorgeous flowers that we just cut out. So as you can see, they cut them out really, really nicely. Okay, now it's just a case of assembling our card together. So we have this other gorgeous bee. I'm actually going to use the other gorgeous bee on our sentiment here. So I'm actually going to glue that one directly down onto that label that we've punched out. I'm going to glue him just there like that. Okay. And our flower that we have that's going to go this way, I'm going to pop that up on dimensionals and that's going to help hold our card up as well. So I'll grab my dimensionals and I'm going to pop a, I'm going to cut my dimensional in half. Or you could use your mini dimensionals here, but the half will hold that flower really nicely, just like that. And I'm gonna pop another one in that body part of the flowers where the leaves are. And I may just use a little mini dimensional just on that bottom part to hold the stem where we want it to. So just there. Okay, so we're going to pop that up onto that bottom part of our card. So that's actually going to hold the other side of our easel to make sure that it stays up nicely. So just like that. Okay, now I'm going to pop some dimensionals on the back of my sentiment label. And the dimensionals, they come in a pack of 300. They're only $6 to buy, but they add that wow factor to your card, which is really, really nice. Gives a little bit of dimension to your card and a little bit of an interesting factor to your card. So once again, I'm gonna fold that down flat and I'm going to pop that on there like that. Okay. And our B, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold our little wings up. The only thing that I can say is when we go to fold this flat in our envelope, just be careful with your B wings um, to make sure that they're folding up nicely. So I'm actually going to pop this one here on there. So I'm actually just going to glue that and I'll pop a small mini dimensional just on the top of that flower to hold the flower head in place and put some Tombow on the rest of the flower because it's actually going to sit on my label. So we'll just put a bit of Tombow on there and pop that one there like that. And the last thing I wanna do is actually tie a bow. I do think I wanna move this. I'm going to carefully move my B because I've just realized that it's not going to go into our envelope real well. So I'm just gonna move that B over just a little bit that it's going to make sure it doesn't go outside there. Okay, and just a bow to finish it off. So this gorgeous satin ribbon is beautiful for tying bows, it makes the most gorgeous bows that you could ever make. It just ties so, so yummy. Look at that. So we're just gonna tie that bow, make it a little bit smaller to fit where we want it to fit, like that. Trim my edges. Now, my trick with my bows is I like to use my double-sided tape. So I'm trimming those at an angle and I like to use my double-sided tape. So I'm actually going to just pop that in the middle and I pop a little bit of double-sided tape 
in behind my bow. I'm going to pop it a little bit sideways so that I can use my double-sided tape. I like to go off the edge of the ribbon, so you're incorporating your double-sided tape onto your ribbon as well as onto your cardstock layer. Make sure you press it down really well before you take the backing off. Okay, so just like that. And then our bow pops nicely in that double-sided tape, but sits a lot nicer. I'll just trim that a little bit more. And there you have a gorgeous easel card using our beautiful honeybee stamp set and um, incorporating our Sending You Thoughts celebration stamp set as well. Now, all of the items that I have used to create this gorgeous easel card can be purchased through my online store and you will find the links down below in the show more box down below to purchase any of the items that I have used. And I would really appreciate your business. It helps me bring you more of these free video tutorials showing you how to use our gorgeous products. We also have a joining special at the moment during January, February and March that if you join, you get to purchase $235 worth of product and only pay $169. Plus you can actually add on for free the mini paper trimmer which is a mini guillotine, which I will grab for you. It is super, super cute. The little mini trimmer, which as you can see by the size of my hand, it's super cute. You get the trimmer for free. You get a six by six pack of designer series paper um, sampler for free. And you also get to choose a stamp set of your choice free. That is during, it ends at the end of March, 2020. So if you're interested in joining my team, please feel free. You can call me on 0421725015. You will find the phone number down below, or you can go onto my website, which is stamping, sorry, www donnagray.stampinup.net and you can click the join now tab and go right ahead and choose your starter kit. So I would love to have you as part of my team. So hopefully you enjoyed that video today and until next time, happy crafting. Bye for now. Anything is possible. It started with a dream. Our passion made a difference and built a family. We've grown strong together, you know it's all because Everybody plays a part in doing what we love You can bet it doesn't matter where you go You find a friend who does just what they love and lets it show